Hello everybody and welcome to This Is Guelph, your weekly update on what's happening in our fair city. I'm Bang Lai, Kegel Fitness Instructor and your host for the show. Thanks for joining us. Here's what's happening this week in Guelph. So welcome to Monday and let's start this week off right. If you're looking for a way to prove your intelligence or at least show off your ability to recall some random facts, then test your mettle tonight at Sapphire Downtown in McDonnell. There you'll find ATQ Productions hosting their weekly trivia night, and you can come as a team of four or just by yourself. So tickets are five bucks and the competition starts at seven. There's gonna be cash to be won and door prizes as well, so let this be the perfect way to prove to your parents that your art history degree is actually worth something. So on Tuesday, you'll get to enjoy one of the most anticipated days of the year. It's World Hepatitis Day. Come on downtown to St. George's Square and enjoy some live music, fun, games, and great prizes. You can get some free food and cold drinks and there'll be face painting for the kids. And of course, confidential hepatitis C testing and more. So if you're going to this event, I'm kind of dying to know what the and more part of this event shall be. On Wednesday night, the village of Riverside Glen is hosting a free community event in their village garden. The theme is a Caribbean festival with music by the Island Accent Steel Drum Trio. They'll have food in the style of Caribbean, drink in the style of what you can properly get from the grocery store, and of course, entertainment and activities. This thing goes from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. And hey, guess what? They'll have prizes awarded for the best costume for the night. So try to look the most Caribbean. On Thursday night, check out Bridging the Miles featuring Ian Foster and David Ross McDonald. They'll be sharing the stage at Silence located on 46 Essex Street, kinda, kinda behind the balls acts a bit. There, they'll be swapping songs and telling stories. So Ian's from St. John's and David's from Australia, so expect anecdotes about seal jerky and then how not to be killed by a creature that's crawled into your boots while you slept in a false sense of security. Because everything in Australia has evolved to kill you in your sleep. Australia. So here's what you can do for lunch on Friday. At 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., head on over to the library right downtown. There, you'll meet Emily Richards, cookbook author and recipe developer, for the launch of her new book, Per La Familia, Memories and Recipes of Southern Italian Home Cooking. Chef Scotty Cook's food truck will be on site and they'll be offering dishes based on the book. Saturday is a big day for Guelph. If you didn't know, all weekend long we celebrate John Galt Day. John Galt, of course, is the man who forged our city with his bare hands out of sheer willpower, robotic bees and hammers made out of even bigger hammers. None of that's true. Eh, some of that's true. At the park, you'll find the Guelph Storm doing some hockey things, some t-shirt printing, tons of stuff for kids. Oh yeah, and a couple of face painting clowns to, you know, paint your face. But the coolest thing that's happening this day is the Wilson Street Promenade. So here's the deal. All the fun happening in front of Market Square extends down Wilson, but then you'll get even more stuff to check out. There's gonna be a beach, a park, access to the farmer's market, of course, tons of artists will have their stuff on display, and you'll be able to create your own art with all the blank canvases that we provided throughout the entire event. So come on downtown on Saturday. So this brings us to Sunday, where the John Galt Day celebrations just keep on keeping on. At just after 10 a.m., head on over to St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church at 161 Norfolk Street, where you'll check out the 8th Annual Kirking John Galt Day Sunday Celebration. So Kirking is, no, not, not that Kirking, it's not that one either. No, not that one, but I wish it was. No, Kirking is essentially a parade led by a piper, no, not, no, just, just stop it. It's a freaking parade of dignitaries led by a piper as a prelude to a civic church service. The service recognizes the contribution of local leaders, expresses hope for their wisdom, and shows appreciation for their dedication to the community. If you're heading down there, maybe bring some non-perishable food items as a donation. Everything they'll collect goes to help the drop-in center. Well, that's it from all of us at This Is Guelph, and thank you again for joining us. Please hit that subscribe button over there and maybe give us a thumbs up if you like this video. For all the information on the events we mentioned on today's show, or if you'd like to send us info about your upcoming event, check out the links below or head on over to our website at thisisguelph.com. Thanks again from all of us at This Is Guelph for watching. I'm Bang Lai. See you again next week.